Hey everybody, Mike here with you on the Sonics 413 channel. Wanted to show you today my propeller drive unit hacked from a micro linear servo. That's got a 5 millimeter by 12 millimeter um, brushed coreless motor geared through a little set of nylon gears, 4 to 1 to a two blade 75 millimeter propeller from a toy model airplane uh, toy store model and right now it's on our high-tech test stand wired up to our usual 10 farad 2.7 volt capacitor let's uh, run it up and see what it'll do I've got this actually set up right now just like I do in my airplanes take my charging jack and contact the actual leads of the capacitor and at that point the uh, motors wired right to it so the motor will start spinning and when it gets fast enough we will take away the charger and uh, launch it if that were the case so if this goes right in here let's see there it is and she starts spinning up at the flying field you would just listen to the right pitch and when you think it's got enough power to it take the charger out and it'll run down gradually now that is really that is really moving some air right now compared to the little six millimeter direct drives I've been using same capacitor same power source but moving a lot more air I think this is going to be the most efficient setup yet. This is going into a peanut scale version of a Goldberg Ranger 30. Uh, instead of balsa wood, it's going to be foam. A little 3 millimeter uh, cell foam from the hobby store. And I got a feeling this is going to really go like crazy. Going to have a great duration, plenty of performance. Uh, maybe almost too much we're gonna see but I think it's really gonna shine beyond what the direct drive units have been doing for me so that is hacked out of a micro linear servo from Park Zone it's the one that they sell for the little Park Zone UMX bricks like this the little brick has two plug-ins for aileron servos and if you buy the aileron servo, it's a little bigger than the one that are on the board. And that's what I've used here. But the construction's the same, so I can describe um, the disassembly to you. Uh, the motor comes out, no problem. And uh, the, the entire servo is removed from the circuit board from the back. You'll need your tiny, tiny Phillips eyeglass screwdrivers, but you can get those off and save as much of the wire as you can then um, at this end of the unit on the end of that shaft it, it's probably difficult to see here but that little knobby thing on the end of the shaft it's actually a tiny little threaded brass nut and that shaft going through is threaded its entire length and um, when the servo runs back and forth this little um, traveler it's actually the output arm of the servo travels back and forth on that jack screw so if we can remove that piece at that point we could spin this in one direction as long as we want and this won't go to the end and jam so that, at that point we've got a nice little four to one gear reduction box so Grab that little nut with the tip of your needle nose pliers, thumb and forefinger to grab the, the larger gear and back it right out. Standard thread, back it out of the nut, and then you can, once the nut's off, um, pay attention because there are some little thrust washers in there, super tiny, thin, metallic thrust washers. You're going to want to save those and put them back in so that when you use this as a prop drive unit um, it can absorb that thrust of the propeller uh, now 
mine had a, enough shaft coming out the front that I could adapt a, a propeller onto it. I had to do a little monkeying around to get it to work. I drilled out the prop hub. It was one of these propellers like this. Drilled out the hub and stuck it on a piece of plastic tubing. And then the plastic tubing uh, got CA glued to that output shaft. And uh, it was a bit fiddly, but it, it worked fine and it runs smoothly. So, and, and on top of that, you're working with junk that you were going to throw away anyway. So uh, don't be afraid to experiment with this stuff. Um, all of this equipment was designed to run on a single LiPo cell, 3.7 volt. So it's uh, with a capacitor at 2.7 volts. It's giving it a fair percentage of its uh, original designed output power, although not really near the, the full power, but still about, about half power. And that's usable. So that's, that's uh, why if you want to adapt equipment from toys, try to find the toy um, airplanes and things that run on a single LiPo battery. And those are the ones that are going to work for you on a capacitor. All right. Um, I guess that's about it. Oh, I didn't mention what it's going into, or did I? Yeah, I did. Ranger, Ranger uh, Peanut Scale Ranger 30. Uh, and to find the blueprints for these old timers, um, I'll leave a link in the text below. But go to outerzone.co dot uk and that's a website that has thousands of old timer blueprints i found the ranger 30 there that's also where i found the dakota biplane from the last video and uh, what i have been doing is uh, download the blueprint as a pdf file display it on the computer screen to the correct size that i want to build and then just trace over it with tracing paper and a pencil right over the computer screen and you can make these little models. If you want to build the full scale version, you take the PDF file down to Kinko's. They will print it out for you and it comes out full size to build on just like it came out of the kit box. Okay, that's it. Next time you see this stuff, it'll be at the flying field. Take care. Keep them flying, guys. Bye.